Let's talk about what happens to our bodies, and particularly the bodies of black and brown women and girls. It is standard knowledge that sexual assault is widely underreported, 60% underreported each year, according to FBI statistics, but due to intersectional issues around race, poverty, sexuality, gender identity, faced by survivors within communities of color, the number of sexual assaults, and those that go underreported, they're considerably higher. According to the National Intimate Partner and Sexual Violence Survey by the CDC, as of the last census, approximately one in five, that is 22% of black women, and 14%, that is one in seven Latina women in the US experienced rape at some point in their lives. The CDC also found 44% of lesbians, 61% of bisexual women experience a combined rape, physical violence, and or stalking in their lifetime. In New York City, Girls and young women ages 16 to 24 experience the highest per capita rate of intimate partner violence that is triple the national average, while nearly half of all female homicide victims are killed by intimate partners. Of these intimate partner homicides, girls and young women, and they say teens, comprise approximately 8% of those total victims. I heard that. I have a few minutes. <laughs> Yet, but we know this, and this is what was written in, you know, we can't wait. Why we can't wait, right? We can't wait. Yet the fierce debate raging with racial justice movements is rarely focused on the gendered forms of oppression faced by women and girls of color. Our culture is saturated with crooked images as we project our own shame onto girls who become pregnant, mm or on girls who choose to exercise reproductive choice, no matter what that choice is, we reject them and allow the perpetuation of systems that deny them the support, the respect, and the resources that they deserve so they can take care of their families. Girls of color are, color are bombarded with derogatory images of women in music and in the media and have to negotiate the chronic threats of high crimes and street harassment in their neighborhoods. Oh, yeah. One quick analysis of GGE's work over the years reveals girls regularly report that older men, including the school security and local police officers charged with protecting them, harass them, pressure them into sex and all forms of, of other violations of civil and human rights. Mm -hmm. Too often these types of abuses are not recognized or taken seriously, not even by their teachers or their parents. Too often girls of color are overtly censored, a situation which condemns too many of them to suffer in silence.